Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. He's Blake, I'm Jeff, and we are back with another episode of Attack on Titan, uh, Season 4, Episode 20. 420. Nice. nice. <sighs> Last time. We're both huge potheads. Uh, so we like our sticky, icky jokes and puns. Look, I make a lot of 420 jokes. Mm-hmm. But I don't smoke. <laughs> Have you ever smoked? I've smoked. I smoked one bowl with my brother when I was like sixteen. Nice. And that's the extent of my drug history. <laughs> All drugs. Well, I tried to trip once. I took a hit of acid, mm. and it did nothing. But it was because I'm a bigger guy, and it was a very small tab. Or it was. Fake. No, because everybody else, we all tore it off of the same fucking thing. They all were tripping their fucking, like it was crazy. Were they or were they pretending? No, they were definitely. I've been to a, I've been to a party once where uh, they were they were pouring like the carbonated like grape juice or whatever mm -hmm. that like looks like champagne, uh -huh. and like some of the younger people thought it was champagne. They were like acting drunk. Acted drunk. Yeah. No. We were, and we were watching them. We we're like, "What is happening right now?" <laughs> no, these people were definitely. I just, I, it didn't do anything for me, or at least it didn't do anything like overt to me. Yeah, that was like the first. time. I could have just been like real calm. The first time I smoked weed, like we like, yeah, it was the same thing. We were like, we we're smoking out of like a little, uh, like a little water pipe, and passing it around, and like they. Two other people I was with were like already getting high. They're like, they're like oh man, like I'm feeling it. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, I don't feel shit. <laughs> but I'm also like a hundred pounds heavier than like both of them. Yes, yes. I was much bigger than most of the. Yeah, other so I was people. like, I think I need more. And they're like, no, like that should be good. Like, you know, and this is back in like the teenage days of being stingy because like, yeah. you know, shit's expensive. And they're like, oh, I, don't have, I don't have no money. Like you can't smoke the whole damn thing. And I'm like, I think I need more though. <laughs> but yeah, it was a boring night. So it wasn't until like I started buying my own shit that I was like, oh yeah, like I needed way more. And he's being stingy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay, I'll probably have to cut that because you know why monetization. Can you talk about drugs? You're not supposed to. It's one of the things. But it's legal in some states. In some states. <laughs> yeah, the state we live in. In the state we live in. Uh, okay, last time. As long as we don't say drugs are cool, kids. Yeah, drugs are not cool, kids. I don't I have no real dog in this race. I don't do drugs, so. But I don't care if you do drugs. Go ahead. Uh, I don't do Have either. fun. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, okay, last time. Last time. Uh, Aaron lost his head. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Gabby blew his fucking head off. <laughs> uh, and it landed in Zeke's palm. <laughs> Yeah. And they ended up in the coordinate path. The path lands. Yeah. And and Zeke really he wanted he basically did like a litmus test. It was like a it was a double cross double yeah, cross. It, it was really a triple was. cross. It was a, it was a quadruple cross. Yeah. Same. Um and Aaron revealed that he is not into the sterilization plan. He does not want Eldians to die off. Uh, and Zeke said, hmm, yeah, I thought you might say that. You fucking son of a bitch. And uh, straight up Ash and Kutcher punked his ass. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he said he uh, spent all his time waiting for Aaron to show up. Figuring out how to break the vow mm -hmm. so that he could actually take the Founding Titan power as a person of royal blood and use it as he wants and not how Fritz intended. Yeah. Uh, and then he said, now you're chained in here, motherfucker. And we saw Ymir. Yeah, we did. We saw Ymir. Or like a ghost um, of her sort of, yeah, or something. Like the spirit of Ymir, yeah. I guess. Essence of Ymir. Um, yeah, so we Actually, saw that. cologne that I'm working on. <laughs> Is it Essence of Ymir? <laughs> That's a tight name. <laughs> I mean, it's a specific name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well it will do I, I in think the broad markets. 
I think a cologne based on Attack on Titan stuff would do very well. What would it smell like? <laughs> blood. <laughs> Probably blood, blood, and sh- blood and shit. Blood and ash and fire and... Yeah. But that's a manly smell. I mean, it can't get more manly than that, right? Yeah. Basically, you want to smell like a firefighter at all times. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Think about that. Let's think about a whole line of colognes that smell like like professions. Mm. You know? Like you could have a firefighter smell and it smells like you just came from a burning building at all times. That's cool. Right? It smells like Dalmatian and burning houses. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. What else would you have? What would an accountant smell like? <laughs> mm. An accountant would probably smell like... And then I know exactly what it would be. Go for it. It's going to be... Because accountants munch all day, right? Okay. Constantly eating like little chips and stuff. It would smell like Cheetos, Dr. Pepper, and farts. It's pretty much the way I, I do accounting. I was going to say, that sounds like <laughs> specific to you. I don't like Cheetos. Cause... Mine would be Doritos... Yeah, mine would be Doritos, Coke Zero, and farts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, not bad. Yeah, like not that bad. Coke. These guys, Coke. Yeah, um, and <laughs> fart. <laughs> it would probably smell like. Well, I mean, the county. All you do is just type on a keyboard. I was gonna say it'll, it'll, it'll. <laughs> <laughs> It'll smell like a, like a keyboard. Yeah. Because that was the thing. Like, I was thinking, originally when you said it, I was like, oh, an accountant, they wear pocket protectors. They're they dorks. Use, yeah, they're, of course. But but then I was like, oh, but modern accounting is all done on computers. Because at first I was like, oh, there'll be erasers and whiteout. And then I was we like, still but use, we, we use a lot of whiteout still. Really? Yeah. Well, because we, we do don't, a, we don't what, use anything. And the hospital's all paper shit whatever because oh, yeah, of hip right. laws and yeah, all that. Yeah, we, don't, we don't do that all of our shit is electronic yeah i was like so it'll, you'll smell like an excel spreadsheet <laughs> you'll smell like a guy who uses excel spreadsheets and i think people know what that smells like it's very can, yeah yeah it's kind of like when i say it. yeah when i say like the top of a cat's head smell you're like i know what that is but i don't know how to explain it true okay yeah yeah uh, what would a police officer smell like? Um, gunpowder. Okay. From the from the black person they just shot. Yeah, definitely. Gu- gunpowder. Um, I guess it would smell like a black person. I was gonna say. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna stick your knee in their neck and yeah, you're gonna have close proximity, like you're gonna the get. Question that. is, what does a black person smell like? Uh, we're done. We're not. <laughs> no, we're done with this one. This segment's done. <laughs> Uh, prior to that all happening, though, Zeke released his scream. He turned all of the um, ones in the vicinity who had drink, drunk his wine um, into Titans, mm-hmm. therefore creating chaos everywhere. Um, but as a result... Chaos. It's an old... I don't even remember what video game it's from. It's like a famous, it's a famous voice acting thing in some old video game for like a PS2. I don't remember what game it is, but he says Chaos instead of Chaos. Hmm. And it's like, I'll have to look it up later. It chaos. Comes, yeah, he says, he's like, Chaos. The he's fuck? like, the fucking stuff that says Chaos. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Is it from Sonic Adventure? Chaos Emeralds. But one of the characters says, Ch- no. They, they call him Chaos Emeralds. Anyway, whatever. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Falco turns. Mm-hmm. And then he points and says, go get him. Yep. And he starts to go eat Rhina out of the armored titan. Yeah. But then he sees easier prey. Which Rhino basically gave up. Yeah, he was. He was just like, uh, let, him, let, let myself go. Take me. Which fits. I mean, Rhino's been giving up for a while now. He's been it's wanting like, this all to end. But it's like he, he, 
he's like always like just holds on just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just just enough to f- fuck up something else. <laughs> well, just to keep fucking things up. True. But hmm. um yeah, so instead he ate Galliard and he is now the jaw tight. Yeah. Um yep. Yeah. Fuck. Colt dead, his brother. Yeah, he was standing too close to him when he changed and was basically burned alive. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But Zeke felt real bad about it. So it was a shame. <laughs> yeah. It didn't seem like he cared that much. I mean, no, but he felt a little bad. Yeah. He's basically like, hey, I get it. Because he, too, has a brother. Yeah, but I'm going to do this anyways. But I have to do what I got to do. So, You know what? I respect it. I, I, hey, I would probably do the same. <laughs> so I can't <laughs> cast aspersions. Yeah. Um, okay. Are we ready to see? Because I've heard now these next few episodes are trippy. Well, that makes sense for being the 420 episode. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's take a, uh, let's find out. Let's take a little trip. What's going on? All right, let's do it. Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 20, in the books. What'd you think? Very good episode. Yeah, the great episode. Yeah. (sighs) Yeah. Um... Okay, so it like it's sort of lining up with what we were thinking. Yeah, but it's like the way they did it is. So the way they did it is actually kind of like genius. Yeah, because it's it's. Like it, it so it sets up a paradox, but like it's smart because he's. It's not within the same timeline. Right. Because of like however they're achieving this by being in like the path world or whatever. Yeah. And like going through the memories. Yeah, like he's like he's manipulating Grisha because Grisha's seeing what he is seeing. Right. So like whatever Aaron witnesses, he can pass those memories down to Grisha. Correct. So Grisha's seeing like that's how he sees Zeke in, in these little <clears throat> memories yes. or whatever. It's because Aaron's there looking at him. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It is. But, like, that's the paradox they set up <clears throat> then is that, like, all of this has been Aaron's plan. Yes. There is no Grisha plan. Like, it was right. him all along. Right. Exactly. That's That's the point. Like, Grisha... Yeah, Grisha's been manipulated. Because we wondered, we were like, we we're like, how far back could it have gone? Because like, it couldn't have gone back to when Aaron was like a child. And it's like, well, no, it doesn't. It goes back to as far as when he touched her hand. Right. He saw the all the future memories. But that's that's what sets up the paradox. Is like he's still able to he was still able to ma- manipulate things before he was even born, because of the way that like they're going through these memories. Right. Which that answers the, kind of the the puzzle that I had of like, well, how's how could he have done that? If, yeah, because we were wondering like, yeah, yeah. Now we know. Yeah. <sighs> but that does mean, what Aaron's bad? Well, because he says you have to stop Aaron. Yeah, what, you have to what stop. What he does I mean, is whatever he does. He said, you know, the terror is so great. Yeah. So, but I, I mean, I, I mean, we assume it's the rumbling. Yeah, we we assume it has to be the rumbling that he's talking about. So it's not going to be a test. No, he's going to unleash the whole thing. I mean, is that is he seeing that like Aaron wipes out the rest of the world, and I that guess. that's what he's saying? We have to stop. But how do you from stop happening? him? How do you stop that? Because he's already he's already seen it happen. Right. Yeah, which, you know, in usual things would mean, well, then it's set. 
Like it's going to happen. Yeah. He even tells he tells Zeke he's like only Aaron's gonna achieve his goals. Right. Yeah, I mean the only question right now is still why. Why what? I mean we understand especially based on the way that they drew him at, towards the end of this, like he is just angry. Yeah. Right? But is that enough for us to say that's why he's doing this? He has no greater purpose other than I'm going to punish everyone in the world for what happened. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he he the way he explains it in this episode is is the scene of of him and Mikasa killing those guys. Yes. In which he says, if if you're threatening me, if like you're going to take. Right. Something away from me, I'm going to take it away from you first. Right. So, yeah, it might just be enough to, to say he knows the rest of the world is a threat. So he's yeah. like, before the threat gets out of hand, I'm going to eliminate it first. Yeah. Okay, but we got to... It opens up so many things here. Yeah. Because, number one, the entire catalyst for Aaron in this show is his mother dying. Yes. He purposely let his mother die. Well, no, he Grisha didn't. Grisha could have saved him. She could have saved them. Yes, Grisha could That's have. That's what I'm saying. But that, but because he didn't tell Grisha to do that, he wanted Grisha to go to the Rice family so that he could get the powers. Yeah, you're right, because he was selectively showing him memories. Yes. That's why he's like, why haven't you shown me everything? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the thing. That's the catalyst that started it. And then he's now letting it happen. Because again, I think he because he's thinking of the broader. Yeah, I think he has to let it happen because he's like he's he's thinking of the broader. Like I have to get the founding right. power. All of this needs to come into my hands. Right. So like the pieces have to move a certain way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess that. I guess that's what it is, is just he's the only, he feels he's the only one that can do it. Yeah. Right? And that's why he can tell Mikasa the things he told her. Because in the grand scheme of things, they don't matter. Or he knows what will become of them, and he's pushing them down a path. I think that's what it is. Right? I think he knows, I think he knows how to... Yeah, I mean, because... I mean, however far he can see into the future... Yeah. Yeah, I was like, Aaron Aaron knows what to say, when to say it. Yeah, how to manipulate Armin and Mikasa down like a certain path. It's like right. him by him saying that stuff to them, it's probably causing them to to think a different way and then to like make decisions, you know, that are going to lead them a certain way right. versus if... Yeah, I mean, that's a th- I assume I assume that was his attempt to get them off of his side. Yeah. Right? Because if they were on his side going down the path he's going down, maybe they die. Maybe, you know. So he's trying to keep them alive. Maybe, or maybe they, maybe they end up being a a problem for him. Maybe they turn on him. Maybe he wants them to be a problem for him. Why? Why? Maybe they stop him after he does what he does. But even if they do, after he does what he does. Sure, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, I'm saying it's a potential, you know, I get this boulder rolling down the hill. Mm -hmm. It wipes out what I needed to wipe out, but we still need to stop the boulder before it wipes out everything. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying, there's different possibilities for why he's doing what he's doing with them and what their role is.
Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I liked the, I liked the the total reversal of Zeke is going to walk him through as many memories as he needs to see until all of a sudden Aaron is like, he opens the door and he's like, let's go, next memory, because he's now in charge. Yeah. He's going to show you the memories you need to see to understand. Yeah, and then he has to, he needs to get to the memories that he needs to get to, to yeah. 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 To change the the past, basically. Right. Yeah, which nobody knew the Attack Titans like ability. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. But it's like, and it's it's interesting too because like Zeke is, I mean, Aaron and Zeke are opposites, and the fact that like like that conversation at the table with him wanting to be a, a you know a scout whatever. Yeah. Um. That was Grisha's like realization that like Aaron Aaron is like everything Zeke wasn't. Like he he might be capable of saving right. the Eldians. Like it re sparked that sort of you know, the, the the desire in Grisha to like to continue down like the restorationist like path or whatever. Mm-hmm. Which is why he's like, I'll show you, you know, what was in the basement, blah blah. But then because of the memories he could see, it's like it, then it did a whole like reversal where now Grisha realizes like Zeke was the better yeah. son, and like should have should have respected you know that relationship more, right. shown more love with Zeke because he's like the normal child and Aaron's like a bloodthirsty maniac. Yeah, at least in Grisha's eyes now. For yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. <sighs> Which like yeah like what what did you expect to happen that that's what Zeke would have been had he had he like fully bought in right Which they talk about the brainwashing but it's like nobody like when you really think about it nobody was really brainwashed by Grisha right Like Zeke wasn't and then Aaron wasn't either right Grisha was the one that was brainwashed by Aaron Yeah True And once again they reframe Grisha for us in that in the in the in the end, he wasn't going to kill the Rice family. He, he was just pleading for them to save his family. Yeah. But Aaron said, no, we need this. I need you to do this. Yeah, which, I mean, Aaron is still, like, he's still right, even if it seems like evil. Yeah, because like he, they do need the founding power. They need it out of the hands of like the royal family right. because of that curse. Right. So he's like, if we ever want war to end, do we want like all of this to stop while saving our people? Because it would yeah, have eventually, it would eventually stop when Marley like invaded, and you know, right. That was that whole history thing of like the king basically gave up and was like, well, if eventually you guys come and invade us, then we'll basically just lay down and let it happen. Yeah. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> well, that, that doesn't sound great for the people on the island. Sure. Well, they didn't choose that life. No. But. Which is what Aaron's thinking. He's like, I didn't, I didn't choose this. I didn't allow the king to make these decisions for me. Yeah, this was the world he was born into. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, fuck it. Let's steal the power and let's kill everyone else. Okay. I'm on board. He convinced me. Yeah. Ah. Um, okay. Now. Hmm. What happens? I mean, we know the rumbling happens. We know, I mean, at this point, we know Aaron does everything. Yeah. So my question to you is, why are we watching the rest of it? <laughs> <laughs> to see how he does it? To see. To watch the terror. I mean, I guess to see, to see, yeah, how he does it and to see if, even if he starts the rumbling, does that necessarily mean that it's going to be successful? Right. Does some do, does someone stop him? Sure. Yeah. Is okay. that why Mikas and Armin are alive? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Well. Maybe Annie has a secret power that we don't know about. I mean, 
maybe. I don't know if if her secret power was encasing herself in the thing. I don't know if that was her secret power. No, because I think in, like they can all do the hardening stuff, right? Yeah, I know, but but it never looks like that. True. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, maybe she has something. I don't know. Okay. I think that's it for this episode. Yeah. And wow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.